Recently, I had a subscriber ask me about the best export settings for YouTube. They said some experts told them to export out in ProRes 422. Please don't do that. It is not only unnecessary, but also the file size that you export and are going to have to try and upload to YouTube is going to be ridiculously huge. Instead, follow these steps with me. Go to Final Cut Pro, Settings, and Destinations. These are all the export destinations available to you. Yours may look slightly different though. So what we're gonna do is create an export option that I would recommend using every time you wanna export to YouTube and even to other social media platforms, except for one setting for Instagram, but we'll go over that later. So go to add destination and just double click export file. For the format, if we leave it on master file, It'll export out in ProRes 422, and you'll have to deal with uploading a really large file size to YouTube. So instead, go to Publishing, and I would suggest choosing the Computer option. Why computer over Apple devices or even social platforms, you may be asking? The main reason is because computer exports out our video in a .mp4 format. This is the file format that YouTube recommends, so it just makes sense to go with the option that they suggest. For those skeptical on if that's actually the call, I ran a bunch of tests and had a really hard time at telling the difference between these three formats when uploading to YouTube. So the logical choice, in my opinion, is just to choose the option that the platform suggests. A reason why I would maybe choose Apple devices is if you want a smaller file size, which will upload to YouTube faster and have similar quality. As far as the video codec, I would choose H.264 single pass. Why would I do that when we have HEVC, which is the new H.265 codec? And why would I choose faster over better? For one, while YouTube does accept HEVC, it was only introduced to YouTube in 2017. You can upload with this codec, but YouTube still suggests H.264. I also ran a bunch of tests trying to find a difference between the two codecs once a video was uploaded to YouTube, and there was either no difference or the difference was so minimal that I just wasn't able to notice it. As far as choosing single pass over multi-pass, Jeff Greenberg, a speaker at the FCP Creative Summit this year, and someone who is extremely knowledgeable when it comes to video compression, suggested using faster encoding because there's little to no difference in quality and your video will encode much, much faster. As far as resolution, choose the biggest option in this drop-down menu, which is this 4K option, because Final Cut will just choose the biggest resolution possible for the project you're working on. So for example, if you have an HD project and we select the export option we're making, you'll see that it automatically sets it to the greatest resolution. This button is new at the time of this recording, and this just makes it so our video exports faster, but only if you're running macOS Sonoma, and only if you have an M1 Max or Ultra, an M2 Max or Ultra, or an M3 Max, or an M3 Ultra whenever that comes out. So now that we have this set up, let's double click and name it YouTube slash social media export. The reason I added social media is because you'll be using the same settings for Facebook, but something to note is that for Instagram, the platform does not do well with 4K video. So do not export in 4K to Instagram. It should be 1080p, unless you want your 4K video to be so compressed by Instagram that it looks worse than a 1080p video. Then right click and hit make default. So now you can just press Command E when you're you're ready to export and the export window will pop up with all of those settings that we just went through. Or you can do it the old fashioned way and just go to file, to share, to YouTube export. I guarantee you'll learn some new things if you watch this fun Final Cut Pro game show that I put together. Give it a watch when you get the chance and have a great rest of your day.